Hello everyone and welcome back to Coin Doctor. In this video I'm going to be showing you some expensive ancient coins. I have 15 on the list and every single coin on this list is over 10 grand. So enjoy. So this one is the first one. It's the record holder for a Greek coin. It's a gold stater of Pentecopion, which brought 3,250,000 in a 2012 New York auction. The obvious shows a satyr and the reverse shows a griffin. Some regard this as the most beautiful coin ever struck. There is a silver tetragram issue which shows the same design. This isn't a very high quality picture, but this is a Syracuse tetragram of Kimon. In 2014, it brought $2,737,000. The offer shows the image of Arethusa and the reverse Acheria Quadriga. This next one is the Acrogas decadram. Acrogas was one of the largest and wealthiest cities in the Greek world. This decadram brought $2,492,144. Fewer than 10 specimens of this coin are unknown, and Harvard's Art Museum has some worn examples, and the British Museum has a better one, but this is the highest grade example. This one's a decadram of Athens, and I'm sure you're familiar with the tetradrams of Athens, but they did strike some decadrams. This coin weighs 42.5 grams and brought $852,000 in 2010. This one's a gold stator of Athens. Not many people know about this, but these were emergency issues in 406 BC. It is thought that they are stripped from a gold statue on the Acropolis, which served as a sort of treasury reserve. Only four examples of this gold state are known, and three of them are in museums. This brought $783,000 in 2008. This is a Jewish war prototype shekel. In 66 AD, the people of Judea revolted against Roman rule. The rebels fought for four years, and they issued their own coinage. This is a prototype shekel which brought 600,000 in 2012. The most famous coin is the Eyes of March coin, but Brutus actually struck some gold aurea. This gold aurea brought almost a million dollars, against an estimate of $500,000. It shows the author's portrait of Brutus and the terminal figure on the reverse. Now this may just look like a Cestertius to you, but it's actually a medallion Cestertius. It is made of oricalum or a brass alloy. It is described as the most beautiful Roman coin ever struck. The author shows the head of Hadrian, and the reverse shows Pax Romana. This brought over $2 million in 2008. Although other Colosseum issues exist, the Severus Alexander Colosseum Aureus has to be the most expensive coin out of all of them. The Colosseum was completed in 80 BC, but this example was struck in the late 200s. In 223 AD, a gold aureus of Severus Alexander depicted the Colosseum on its reverse. It brought $800,000 in a 2008 auction. This almost pristine medallion of Maxentius is the highest auction price ever paid for a Roman gold coin. Someone paid $1,400,000 for this coin. It's perfectly centered with silky smooth services, and the office portrait and the reaver scene are executed in exquisite detail. This is a tetradram struck by Seleucos the first Nicator. It shows the horned portrait of Hercules on the obverse and Zeus Atophoros on the reverse. Even though this is a lower valued coin, there are only a few existence. There's only six examples in existence. This coin brought $30,000 in a CNG auction. Here's another tetradram of Seleucos the first Nicator. It shows Her Heracles on the obverse and Alexander and Bucephalus on the reverse. And Bucephalus was Alexander's horse so it shows Alexander the Great riding Bucephalus. This coin brought $50,000 since there was only 10 examples in existence. Here's a tetradram of Abdera Thrace. The author shows the portrait of a griffin and the reaver shows Artemis. This coin brought $12,000 in a CNG auction. This is a beautiful tetradram of Naxos. It brought 691,000 pounds at a British auction. The final example is from Naxos again and it brought the same amount, 691,000 pounds. This is in fact the, one of the most sought after ancient coins and there's only a few that pop up on the market each year. I hope you guys like this video and if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.